Hello everyone, welcome back again. Former Manchester United midfielder Juan Mata says he has been impressed with the performances of Alejandro Garnacho and Kabi Mainu this season. The 36-year-old has kept a close eye on his old team's matches since departing Old Trafford in 2022 and was recently speaking about the Reds in San Diego, where Eric Ten Hag's side will take on Real Betis in a friendly this summer. In an exclusive interview with MUTV's Sam Homewood, Juan expressed his delight for our two aforementioned Academy graduates who have been standout performers in the senior ranks across the 2023-24 campaign. Garnacho made his first team debut in a 1-1 draw with Chelsea just over two years ago, coming off the bench in what was Mata's penultimate home appearance of his eight and a half years as a Red. The latter will have therefore been aware of Alejandro's budding talent prior to departing the club and has since been proud of the way that the young Red has kicked on. I'm very impressed. I mean, I knew Alejandro, I know what he's capable of the former Reds' favorite said, speaking at the Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego. He was already showing signs of how good he could be. I think this season he made a step forward. He's more consistent. He's performing at a very high level, almost week in, week out, scoring incredible goals. I'm very happy for him, for his family too. He deserves it. Mainu, like Garnacho, was part of the historic side that lifted the 2022 FA Youth Cup in Mata's final season at the club. The former had to wait until the following campaign to make his senior bow and is a player that Juan did not know as well while he was here, but our ex-midfielder is now enjoying watching Kabi and has been reliably informed about what he's like off the pitch too. I'm really impressed with Kabi. Of course, I haven't seen much of him before, but he looks like he's been playing for the club for longer than he has, the Spaniard added. In his first games for United, he already looks so mature. He looks like a player. With the ball, without the ball, he's focused. He's got a bright future ahead. Bruno Fernandes tells me he's also a great kid. He listens. He wants to learn. He's humble. So he has everything to succeed. PSV Eindhoven president Marcel Brands has provided a glowing assessment of Everton defender Jared Branthwaite amid Manchester United's interest in his signature, outlining seven traits he has within his locker. United want to sign two centre-backs in this forthcoming summer's transfer window, and Branthwaite is on their radar. The Manchester Evening News, back in March, confirmed he is being monitored by the club. The defender, who made the most recent England squad, has excelled for Everton this season, producing a series of fine performances to play a key hand in their fight against relegation. As a result, he is understandably being linked with a plethora of big-name clubs, including Real Madrid. Last season, Branthwaite, who joined Everton from Carlisle United in 2020, spent time on loan at Dutch club PSV, making 36 appearances under the watchful eye of former United striker Ruud van Nistelrooy. Despite the success of his loan spell in the Netherlands, few would have anticipated the sharp rise he has enjoyed this term. However, PSV chief Brands is in the minority. He saw signs last season that the centre-back was destined for bigger and better things. Jarad has always had a huge talent, and from day one when he first came into the club, he's been impressing the other players and staff members, Brands told our sister title, The Echo. He had a very good loan spell with us at PSV, so to see him do that is not a surprise to me. To be honest, I have never had any doubts about him. In principle, he has everything to become one of the top defenders in the world. He's tall, he's good in the air, he will always score some goals while also being comfortable on the ball with both feet and fast. The only thing he has to improve now is his experience because he's still very young but playing on a high level. As well as praising his capabilities in the air, Brands, who previously spent three years at Everton as their director of football between 2018 and 2021, also hailed Branthwaite's ability to adapt to different styles. He continued, Jared's advantage is that he can play in different styles. He's now very comfortable playing alongside James Tarkowski, who is a player who suits the system that Everton are playing now. 
Manchester United continue to be linked with an interest in Crystal Palace star Michael O'Lees in the summer transfer window, with it now suggested that they are the frontrunners for the player. O'Lees has been a key player for Palace since moving from Reading in the summer of 2021. The 22-year-old has seen his season hit by injury, but has still managed seven goals and four assists in 16 Premier League appearances this campaign. He was heavily linked with a move to Chelsea last summer, with the club even activating a 35 million euro release clause in his contract. But the player opted to stay at Selhurst Park and signed a new deal. It is reported that the deal also includes a release clause, but one at a much higher price than the previous one. ESPN report that the clause is between 50 million euro and 60 million euro, with United the frontrunners to activate that when the summer transfer window opens. One problem that could stand in their way is the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules, PSRs. Punishments for Everton and Nottingham Forest for breaches of the regulations earlier in the season saw a major cutback in spending in the January transfer window from most Premier League clubs. A way that United could get around this is to cash in on squad players to boost their transfer budget available to spend on incomings. ESPN have previously reported that United could try and tempt Palace to lower the price for Olise by including former fullback Aaron Juan Bissaka in any deal. Juan Bissaka joined United from Palace for a total fee of $50 million back in 2019. Like Olise, the 26-year-old has struggled with injuries this season, reducing him to 18 appearances in the Premier League. When the summer comes around, the fullback will have just one year remaining on his current contract at Old Trafford. United could therefore try to use the player to reduce the price they need to pay for Olise instead of losing him for nothing in just over a year. Rio Ferdinand questioned why Jadon Sancho has struggled at Manchester United after winger starred in Borussia Dortmund's Champions League win over Paris Saint-Germain. Sancho looked back to his best as Dortmund beat PSG 1-0 in the first leg of their semi-final clash, with the 24-year-old completing the most dribbles in a Champions League game by an Englishman with 12. In fact, he had completed more dribbles by halftime than he managed in any of his 58 Premier League appearances for United since signing for the club back in 2021. Following a public falling out with Red Devils boss Eric Ten Hag, Sancho returned to Dortmund on loan in January, and Ferdinand felt Sancho's performance against PSG was his best since his first stint at Dortmund, with the United legend questioning why he has been unable to replicate it at Old Trafford. He's shaking and baking top players here.